they understand our rules, what we're doing? Well, no, not really. I mean, I figure it's just we're going to have to cut five, keep five, and but we both have to agree on We have to agree on the five, keep. yeah. Yeah, so we're going yeah. to argue a ton. G'day, everyone. This is a cuddle keep with Lucas and Michael. It's an AJXP show special. And we're going to have 10 movies. Today we are doing 90s comedy movies. And we have to cut five and keep five. But we need to agree on that. Um, I don't know. We'll see what we get. We'll, what we've got. Let's bring up the movies. This is what we've got to work with. So we've got Happy Gilmore. There's something about Mary. Dumb and Dumber. Wayne's World. Office Space. Austin Powers. Basketball. Mall Rats. Friday. And American Pie. So... Uh, where do we start? It's a good list. It's, it's a good list because it's it, a very it, good list because you could make a argument for any one of those movies, really. I think they're all good in their own right. All right uh, well, is there any that's jumping out to you? To get rid off of? The bat? Yeah. yeah. Friday. Yeah. Friday. I, look, I've seen that that long okay. ago and it was just... It, I, uh, not your it, thing. It, it never hit home. It wasn't my thing. I could probably watch that again today and think that it's absolutely hilarious and maybe yeah. even regret it. But as it stands now, I'm like, yeah, no, nah, yep. Friday can go. Are you agreeing with that? Or are you going to fight? I think that... Ba no, I think based on the strength of the list, I'd be happy to let Friday slide as our okay, first. Okay, bye-bye, Friday. You are cut. Damn! That was a nice and easy one to start off with. Um, okay. Other than Friday, was there something that yelled out to you that you wanted to get rid of? No. <laughs> <laughs> is there, let me ask you, is there any one of these that you're like, we have to keep? I, th I, I think Dumb and Dumber, for me, is a, yeah. is a must keep. I, I knew you were going to say that. And yeah. I th think I would agree. I think okay. we can keep Dumb and Dumber. All right, we'll leave Dumb and Dumber alone. Is it just a... Yep. A comedy classic. Looking at the list, and there's two Mike Myers films on here. So, out of Austin Powers and Wayne's World, what do you think is the weaker Wayne film? World. Said that very quick. Yep. Yep. If I'm picking between Austin Powers and Wayne's World, I'm sorry, Wayne's yep. World's got to go. Look, Wayne's World is funny. Oh, shwing, shwing. But Austin Powers. My God, the quotable lines in Austin Powers. The quotable lines. Like, like I, the... I think Dr. Evil alone probably <laughs> nudges that ahead. You so know what? let's. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's. I'm pretty sure it's from the original Austin Powers, and I think it's the scene. I think his name is Fez. It's played by uh, Will, it? Ferrell? Will, Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. He... Yeah. Where. where... Because oh, he doesn't he come back in the second? Does he make an appearance in that? Or he does. He does come back. Actually, it's not Will Ferrell or Will Ferrell, whatever his name is, that I'm thinking of. It's actually uh, Tom Arnold when when Austin Powers goes to the toilet, and I think oh, he's, he's, in a, he's in a fight, <laughs> and he's like, "Who does number two work for?" And he's like, "Yeah, man, you tell that turd who's boss." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who does number two work? Oh. That's right, buddy. You show that turd who's boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, true. Yeah, the, the Fez scene uh, was funny where he's, I think I've broken my leg. And then right <laughs> yeah. at the very end of the credits, it's like, he's I'm still, still down here. It's starting to smell like almonds. <laughs> <laughs> just the Fez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you convinced me. Yeah. Okay. Right. We'll, we'll cut Wayne's World. Okay, Wayne's World. Next. What are we going? Yeah, it's starting to get tough here. I was going to say American Pie's got to go. Really? Yeah, like, I'm not saying it's a shit movie or anything, but just yeah. compared to its competition, American Pie's the weakest one there, in my opinion. Like, Yeah. What's it better than okay. that? Okay. Yeah. That, I'll agree with you American there. American Pie Let's... is basically the, the 90s version of Porky's. It, it, yeah, it, pretty it, much. Yeah, it was just a reimagining, really, and it was funny. And it had, you know, the band camp stuff, and had Blink One Eight Two in the what, movie. Bro? That guy's in my trig class. Oh no, go trig boy! It's your oh. birthday. I just feel like it just—it's it, it, a struggler in that camp of movies. Like it was just not as good as the rest of them. Yeah. Yeah, I guess if I'm looking at that between like. 
American Pie, Happy Gilmore, something about Mary, I would probably say American Pie is the weakest of those three. So yeah, let's cut American Pie. All right, American Pie, you're gone. Now we're getting now, tough. Now it's getting tough. So we're definitely keeping Dumb and Dumber. I would probably say Happy Gilmore is a definite keep. Oh, good. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> yeah. Because that's probably one of Adam Sandler's best. Yeah, well, that's the first Adam Sandler movie I watched. I didn't yeah. know anything about... Uh, what was the previous one? The one where he was at school? Billy Madison. Billy Madison, yeah. I, yeah. I hadn't heard of that movie until after I'd seen Happy Gilmore. Yeah. Uh, Happy Gilmore was actually the second film at the drive-ins that night. We actually went to see... Oh, right. Good old drive-ins. I can't remember what the first film was. I think it might have been, I don't know, Independence Day. Did they come out around the same time? I'm not sure. We, we went to see some... Could have been similar film. time, mid-90s. So. We, like, we went to go see a massive film that was coming out. And back then, uh, the Blacktown drive-ins, you just bought mm. the, the one like the one ticket, but you, there was actually two feature films that played. Happy yeah. Gilmore was the second one, and we were going to leave. And then we thought, oh, we'll just see what this is, because we'd never heard of it. We had no idea what it was. And we watched the first 10 minutes, and we just... We did not leave. We loved it. Yeah, it was hilarious. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's a that's a, a definite keep, I think. Yeah, good. Okay. I also want to make a case for more rats. Because oh, yeah, when not, I look I'm not, at I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not fighting you on more rats. Okay, good, more good. Because I look hilarious. at that list and it's and it's probably one of the more unique ones of that list. Yeah, yeah. Um yeah. in terms of the sense of humor and stuff and yeah, Kevin Smith classic, so I think definite keep. Yeah, no, no, I'm not going to fight you. I... Absolutely amazing. Uh, it, that that was basically my introduction to uh, Kevin Smith movies. I know you and the guys that we went to school with, they, like, you guys made me, forced me to watch Clerks. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. this movie's black and white. Why are we watching <laughs> this? This is garbage. 37. My girlfriend sucked 37 dicks. In a row? Hey, try not to suck any dick on the way through the parking lot. Hey, hey, you, get back here. Look, we don't live in the time of black and white. Why are we watching a black and white film? This is crap. He's forced me to watch it. And I appreciate it today. But back then I was like, this is shit. But I was just—I was just being defiant. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think I felt that I would already formed my opinion based on it being black and white, and just didn't appreciate it. I think it's a classic film today. Um, but that scene, more as was more accessible. It than, was. Than it Clerks, was absolutely. Yeah. But I love—I love Clerks. I think Clerks is amazing. I love the the dialogue in Kevin Smith films are uh, very well written. And witty mm. and, and, and really mm. funny. And so, yeah. Uh, and More Rats, once again, was the first one that probably brought me around and made me think, oh, okay, these movies are actually really good. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. The kid is on the escalator again. That kid, that kid is back on the escalator again. Leave it alone. What? Oh, fucking take all you want. Come in again, There's a little boy caught the escalator. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, more rats. Right. We're keeping more rats is a keep. So I think we're pretty much locked in three. We can keep here: Happy Gilmore, Dumb and Dumber, more rats. Mm -hmm. So it really comes down to out of Mary, Awesome Powers, Office Space, Basketball. Which one of those is the weakest? See, and nostalgia gets in the way because it does. Yeah, we're getting to the point now where I don't want to say no to any of them, but two need to go, right? <sighs> Yeah, I'm going to throw up basketball. I knew you were going to say that. and then, But then when I look at the other movies, I feel like I I can't really argue that. Like, basketball is funny, and there's definitely some funny elements in it. it but yeah. when I look at the others as whole movies, 
I think they're better. Yeah, yeah. See, but the thing is, the the comedy in basketball is very reliant on just being like uh, like gross and yeah, and just like blatant. Whereas I feel like, say, Office Space uh, and something about Mary, they're more. I feel like they're like higher brow comedy. Yeah, yeah, I would that, agree. That yeah. works. Yeah. Like, I mean, there's just the similar simple shit of one of the characters in Office Space being named Michael Bolton. Michael Bolton? That's me. Wow, is that your real name? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I, I always loved when uh, when you know, it starts and he's getting into the rap music. Yeah, is, that's right. He's pulling the rap. <laughs> yeah, and the, the the black guy, I think it's the window washer or someone is is walking past his car and he starts getting like real quiet and like locks the door. <laughs> <laughs> and then the guy walks past and he's like, back his yeah. turn. My pistol point cock. Ready to link shots nonstop until I see your monkey ass drop. And let your homies know who done it. Cause when it comes to this gangster shit, you motherfuckers know who run it. Uh, we're standing up for our own shit. And if you want this motherfucker to, to the, the test, test, you gotta realize something, nigga. You fucking with the very bitch. I got this killer up inside of me. I can't talk to <laughs> Um. Yeah. Right. Basketball, I think, has got to be the next okay. one to go. See you, basketball. Sorry. <laughs> and this is where it's going to get hard. Yeah. Pick this last one. Part of me was thinking I'd cut off some powers, but now after you mentioning that earlier. Nah. Like, oh, nah. That was such a good film. I don't know if I could cut it. And then, but then Office Space, now that we've spoken about it, that, you know, you've got, um, uh, what's his name? The, the boss, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, I, just move I, your desk back a little. I, okay. I always just remember his name as Frank, Frankie. He had like the black hair. Yeah, black hair. Is with, that I think he had the, the mullet. Yeah. Oh, the neighbor. You're thinking of the neighbor. Oh, no, I'm thinking of yes. the neighbor. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, was, I, I, that was Frank. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, different character. Yeah. But no, the, the, the boss was pretty cool. He was like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to need you to work <laughs> on Saturday. <laughs> Hello, Peter. What's happening? I'm going to need you to go ahead and come in tomorrow. So if you could be here around nine, that would be great. Okay. But yeah, the um, neighbor and he comes around, he's like, yeah, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence, what would you do if you had a million dollars? I'll tell you what I'd do, man. Two chicks at the same time, man. Something about Mary. Yeah, that's. It's a funny movie, but the story is quite good through it. And there's lots yeah. of funny things is, that happen on the back is of... The, is that the movie where the cop keeps wanting to show his cock? It's like, just have a look at it. It's, it's, it's not small. It's thin. <laughs> it's, it's like a... It's pathetic. It's like a it's piece of spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> is that him? Is that yeah. that? I'm pretty sure it is. You're saying your wife cheated on you because your penis is too small? It's not too small. It's too thin. Okay, my dick is too thin. I got a thin dick. No, that's Juice Bigelow. Oh, a different Juice movie. Bigelow. Oh, is yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's I'll, right. I'll yeah, it didn't it. feel right. Sorry, uh, something about Mary. I was confusing you. That's uh, uh, something about Mary's Franks and Beans. And, uh, oh, you yeah. know. Yeah. How'd you get the beans above the freight? What's that bubble there? What do you think? It's a... Well, how the hell did you get the beans above the frag? I mean, I mean yes, I'm, 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 <laughs> we got a bleeder. <laughs> um, yeah. And then the guy around him, he was masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting put into the ambulance. Uh, and you obviously got that, like the iconic uh, fringe hair gel scene. And yeah, yeah. Is that a hair gel? Yeah. Great. No, 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 you don't have to. You don't. I just ran out. And you got the old lady that Mary helps. 
that sunbakes all the time. Was it? Is it Matt Dillon's character that's oh, looking through yeah. the binoculars yeah, 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 yeah. and then, like she's naked? Yeah, and she's like, all he see like, like wrinkled up and shit. Like so you see a <laughs> yeah, boobs like old shriveled and leather. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's got to be off the space. It's the last cull. I guess when you think like the more iconic moments and scenes and stuff, awesome powers and something about my area probably have more in that sense. And and I'm looking at this list of like rewatchability. If I'm stuck with these five, all right. If you're happy with that, office space. I'll I'll help. Yeah, I'll happily agree. Let's cut office space. All right. Well, that's our choices. There's that our made. Five. They're locked in. They're our cuddle keep. So we're keeping Happy Gilmore. There's something about Mary, Dumb and Dumber, Austin Powers, and More Rats. Now this is where it could get interesting to see in the comment section. Right in there. Which one would you have cut? Which one would you have kept? Uh, because I feel like this is highly subjective and, uh, and it makes it a little bit harder for us because we've got to argue the point towards each other. But um, I think we've chose well. There's some very good movies in there. It was hard. It was very hard to pick five. And I reckon if we did this again in a week with the same list, we could probably end up with a different five films, to be honest. Yeah, maybe. But I'm I'm happy with the the list that we've ended on. Um, Fantastic. But yeah, absolutely. Give us your cuts and your keeps in the comments because I did definitely think there's going to be a lot of variation in the in the answers there. All right. Fantastic. All right. Well, check out uh, our next video, which will very likely be. Uh... I don't know, some other 90s films that we'll do. Thank you very much for watching this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Lucas, that's Michael, and we'll see you next time. See ya.